Conversations are ramping up about the farm bill. Growers are planning for that here in this next congressional cycle. And Max thought it was time to get checked in and to see what farmers around the country were looking for in that next farm bill. Yeah, Mike, it seems early all right to be talking about a new farm bill. I don't believe a new one is due until at the end of next year. Nevertheless, as you know, lawmakers have been talking about it indeed, and so have farmers. We're pleased to have with us this weekend the president of the American Soybean Association, Brad Doyle. First of all, Brad, a crop report from your part of the world. How are the beans and other crops looking in Arkansas? So the, the soybeans that were planted early look great. Uh, we are in a dry spell right now. There are a few fields uh, being, being planted today, uh, some that were wet. Uh, field work was was delayed. So wrapping up planning, we started cutting wheat yesterday here locally. And so we'll be cutting all day today. And, and so far, the, the yield looks promising. Uh, and we've got rice that is being fertilized and put to a flood. So a lot going on here in my part of the world. Uh, the corn and cotton around is, is growing quite well as, as, uh, as it should for this time in June. So great, great things going. Uh, we could actually use a little bit of rain even after all the rain delays this spring. Since you mentioned wheat, let me ask, uh, how have your members responded to the administration's call for more double cropping in 2023? What are they saying about it in your rank and file? You know, we, we can be challenging in, in, a, in a rotation, so not everybody has the opportunity that we have here in, in the southern states. So we are more flexible to uh, increase our acres. And, you know, to be honest, when soybean prices are strong, uh, it, it's hard to put wheat in the, in the rotation, but strong wheat prices uh, will certainly have some farmers scratching their head this, this fall, whether they want to plant it or not. Some of the bloom has come off that wheat, uh, to be sure, but there are others who are saying, my goodness, uh, uh, you know, that, there's a reason for me to look at it other than straw now, which, is, which has been rare at times in the past for some growers when you look in uh, double crop territory. Let's talk a bit about the farm bill. What's the number one issue there that really matters for the Soybean Association? So Max, I would have to say crop insurance. Uh, soybeans have about 90% coverage on, on you know, what we grow every year. So it is crucial, crucial to have those tools in, in place. And, and that's what we've, we've discussed since September. As an association, we reached out to our membership, to our, to our affiliate members, and we've had a lot of farmer discussions. What needs to be added? What needs to be changed? What can we do to improve and reduce the risk on farm. But I think crop insurance and in the, in the ARC and PLC programs are, are vital for the health of, of family farms today. Crop insurance has been you know, kind of an elusive goal, it seems like. I, you know, I remember when we were talking about getting rid of these ad hoc disaster bills you know, and responding to every disaster that comes along. We haven't been able to do that yet, have we? And, and crop insurance hasn't worked just right for everyone, has it? It's not, and that's why we need we need choices, and, and it's a great partnership between the federal government and, and the private companies that offer it. So, you know, it, it's discussions like these today and, and whenever you do need crop insurance that we need to fall back on when building out this new farm bill. Uh, we always want improvement uh, that makes sense, and that's affordable to everyone. Brad, we'll check back with you in a few weeks. We want to stay in touch with you as we move toward that goal of getting a new farm bill. We appreciate you joining us this weekend here. Thank you so much for having me. Brad Doyle, he's the president of the American Soybean Association.